Alrighty guys, so welcome back to another video. So we just walked to check, oh gosh, my back. We just walked to check what was in here and I'm seeing a couple of things already. Like that whole box right there. That looks heavy. What's the, uh, What's the what? type of bread or something? Oh, it says sofas. Sofas. Hmm. I'm about to get in here and get the sausages I didn't get. Yeah. Is there anything in this box right here? This white and blue one? Oh, white and blue. Right there? The whole, the I mean the brown and blue and green one. Right here to my right. What, this? Yeah. Ooh, I see meat in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig some out. Get my gloves. Cause I need some more kitty food. Oh, I see chicken in there. Okay, there's some chicken. Okay. All right, guys. Trying to see what else is in here. I think it's some raw meat, which is good because. Well, nope, I was wrong. Uh, I got this one. Got another one, guys. Ew. Bacon. Oh. Just lay this down right here. This has some pretty good stuff in it. Ooh, I got some raw meat for the kitties. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I see another chicken in there too. Oh. Oh, I can't grab it. I see two more whole chickens in here. Okay. I think I see one more under there. And then I'm gonna get some of the raw chicken meat. I mean, the raw kitty meat. I just gotta go find some plastic in a box to put it in. Slipper. There we go. All right, y'all. Already a great haul. Let me go find a small box um, to put that raw meat in. Well, I guess you guys can come with me. You can come with. <laughs> This is usually my dumpster for boxes. Yeah. This will work nicely. So guys, back to my back. I was telling you guys I've been having some back pain. Didn't know what was going on. Went to the doctor. I have a pinched nerve in my back. Not, uh, not happy about that. <laughs> But if you guys have any home remedies or anything, definitely let me know. Oh man, more chicken? A whole bag full. You want to just take that whole sack? No. Okay. You want to dig it out? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What happened to that meat that was in here? Oh, down there. Oh, wow. I'm about to hand you nice. a lot of stuff. Nice. I think Had it all it. stacked up for us, guys. That's some of the stuff that we seen that was due date today. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were in the store yesterday actually shopping for, you know, some actual stuff, buying stuff on the inside. Well, and we saw some. We were shopping for more at the cookies. Yeah. And we saw a bunch of meat that was expired today, basically. So we were like, oh, okay, that should be out soon. And it is. Yeah, the weather. Yeah. Well, it was cool enough today, though. 
Yeah. So I told you guys yesterday, like, oh, it's getting warmer out here, blah, blah, blah. Well, today was back cold. Like, this weather, Oklahoma weather is so crazy. I almost need to get another box for my meat. Really? That's not even what I came in here to get. Oh. You're getting the other stuff, right? I don't know. If you see any boxes, will you pull it out? Because I need something to put this meat in. I don't know if there's any rest of this. <laughs> oh, wow. That was the rest from our haul earlier. I'll right. link. Uh, yeah, they are, actually. Good. These are the hot ones. This Man, we got like... 18 of the hot ones like earlier. Alright guys. This is looking good. Good. And good. This is a nice haul for a nighttime haul. Especially since we were at the same dumpster today and got like a huge haul as well. And I don't know if I told you guys but we're partnering with two ministries. Two of our uh, friends have ministries. We're going to be partnering with them because we're just doing some talking and one of our friends spends about, he's a pastor, spends about 200, 250 a week just feeding hungry people. And we were like, you do what? He was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Because we weren't even really, you know, discussing it for that. I'm like, wait a minute, as much food as we get, didn't even know it. It pays just to, oh, pays to talk to people. We had no idea. Crap, I just dropped all this. Well, let me just get the box. We had no idea he even had a food ministry. Let's get some raw kitty food. Okay, y'all, I'm just gonna box up the raw kitty food and then I will just see you guys at home to show you what we got. Alrighty, guys. We are back home. Just wanted to show you everything that we got on our little excursion out. Just gonna give you guys a brief pan and we are going to hop right into it because this is a lot of stuff. It's a pretty nice size video. So let's just hop right into it. Sorry guys, I'm scooting over trying not to step on cattails. Okay, so we got a container of honey, or no, sorry, roasted almonds. Salted roasted almonds and then honey roasted almonds. Those look really good. So two containers of this. Those of you that asked me about expiration dates, I actually don't see one on here. I was trying to see if that came off. No. Uh, so yeah, I checked on here, didn't see one. So that's interesting. I don't know. Okay, we also got no... Our subscribers that are either Hispanic or know about the Hispanic culture are going to have to help me with this. I think it's called Sopes. And what's crazy is I was trying to figure out what the heck these were. And then um, I read the instructions. Popular Mexican street food can be enjoyed with chorizo and a variety of traditional garnishes. Then it dawned on me. I always see these when we go to the taco truck. So I'll try to insert a picture and I always wondered what they were. So I guess this is just like the store or the breaded part that you can just get at the store so you can make your own at home. Very interesting. I don't know enough about Hispanic cooking to actually make something like this. However, I think I'm going to do some research and try. So definitely drop your comments and suggestions uh, in the comment section. Any kind of little tip. Looks like it has like a, it's like a little shell or something. Yeah, you guys let me know what that's about. Okay, next we got, if you guys saw the video that I posted earlier, um, you would have seen just a ton of sausage we got. This is from the same haul. We just went back later on um, that night. So I'll link that video below so you can see what we got first. And now this is the second part of it. But look at all this sausage, you guys. And this is going to be a mixture of hot, mild, and then Jimmy Dean regular. And in total, we have one, two, 
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 total. So we've got about probably close to 40 things of sausages today. Did you know that, babe? 40? Yeah, because I think the last haul, I think it was like 16 hot sausages, like nine sage, and I don't know how many mild. But all together, we probably got close to 40. All right, guys, we have a sticky, sticky a three pound container. I was about to say, this don't really look like five pound. We have a three pound pack of ground chuck, and this is 8020, my favorite. But this is in good condition. I actually have an aunt asking for some ground beef, so it's good that we keep finding some stuff. We have four more whole uh, fryers. If you guys saw the previous video that I will link down below, we got four in that haul as well. So we have four more. So eight whole chickens total for the day. And this is from the same dumpster. We have a pack of boneless, skinless chicken breast fillets. We also got like four or five packs of these from earlier today. So I guess they were just getting rid of a lot of this stuff. We have two packs of the um, all natural ground beef patties. And if you guys have stuck around my videos at all, you'll already know what I'm about to say. Our store sells them 10 for 10. So it's 10 in this pack. Now, they usually don't come looking like this. They were actually like laying down. So they're all smushed to this side. But we do have two of those for a total of 20 ground beef patties. We have two packs of the, oh no, hang on. Two packs of bacon. We have one pack of the class and cut. I said the class and the classic cut bacon. And then we have one pack of the double smoked bacon. I bet that's good. Yeah, that sounds good. So yeah, two of those. We have two packs, two one pound packs of the 100% grass fed ground beef. We find this pretty frequently, honestly. So even though, you know, I'm not just jumping up and down. I am very, very happy that we found it because this is actually pretty good. We do like this. Two packs of the Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Smoked Uncured Ham. And I believe these are one pound a piece. Uh, expiration date for those of you curious or that care about dates is April 8th of 2021. And then lastly, we just have one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven packs of chicken drumsticks. These are not the family packs. These are just the small packs. So it's only about five drumsticks in each pack. Um, but still, you know, it's a good deal. All of these were reduced to sell. Looks like they were going for like 324, 316. So they were trying to move them out and get rid of them. I guess that um, no one came and got them though. So seven packs of this total and i think that is it all right guys so very quick and easy video this is what we got hope you have enjoyed it definitely comment down below any suggestions for the sopes i think they're called i'm not really for sure and also comment down below your favorite part of this haul if i had to pick one um hmm Maybe the ground beef patties. But then again, we get that quite frequently, so I don't know. You can never go wrong with bacon, but then again, it may be this sausage too, because this sausage is pretty cold. Puts me in a breakfast mood. Babe, what's your favorite part of the, the haul? Whole chicken. The whole chickens. He says the whole chickens, but I already told you guys, he likes to season them and smoke them outside. So yeah, of course that's his favorite part. But tell me your favorite part. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in tomorrow's dive. Bye, guys.